Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, we pray that uh, all of you are in good health and uh, today our topic is about health. Uh, you know, if you remember, uh, maybe 10 days ago I made a video and we spoke about, uh, uh, I was mentioning that the American, they decide to bring uh, some people from a cruise ship and supposedly they will put them there for 14 days in an isolated area to be sure that they don't have the virus. And, you know, one of you in the in the chat, he posted, he said, uh, uh, because I was saying that you should not do that. You should put them, leave them there, provide them with shelter, you know, and uh, let us say health care, but don't bring them over until everything is clear out. So one on one of you, he says, no, CP, no, this is this you're wrong. They put them in a, a isolated area for 14 days. And look today what we see in the news. Today in the news, they announce that coronavirus, it can live at least as a nursing time for 27 days and maybe more. They don't know. So now all those who brought them and they put them in isolated area for 14 days and they let them go home. We do not know how many of them they were infected. So do you see the stupidity? This is what I warned from and this is exactly what's happening. First, this is a new virus. They know nothing about it. Every day they are learning something new about it. And actually it's not even one virus. It's like there is five kind of them. So they brought people from, from overseas, and obviously the cruise ship have hundreds of, of people infected, which means the whole ship is infected. And you see, you do not need to be sick with it, actually, to carry the virus. There's, you see, many virus, many, there's some people, they have a good immune system. They carry, and they don't get sick. And this is not something new for a human being. Not every human being will get sick because of a virus. Even if everybody around you is sick, not necessarily you will get sick too because you are stronger. And additional to that, you can carry the virus in your baloney, your clothing, uh, uh, your stuff. I mean, you are coming from there as an infected area. What, are you going to wash his cell phone? Are you going to put it in chlorine? I mean, uh, they don't know what they are doing, and obviously they are helping the virus to spread out. They made conference about how to fight coronavirus, and they find out that the conference itself, it was a good way to spread the virus. I mean, how in the world you bring people from around the world to make a conference in a time where virus is spreading? So people came for the conference, they got sick, and then now they go home and they carry the virus with them. So what you notice here, we have a guy here is, I don't know what's wrong with him. He keep, he keep calling me. He's a Muslim. He want to challenge me. I told him this is not here. You know, I'm not in this. <laughs> he want to call me. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, I went to uh, an European organization, and this is supposedly up to date. Uh, but I'm not sure how up to date it is. European Center of Disease Prevention and Control. So this is look like it's an it's an, uh, a government uh, uh, organization by European Union. And you know when you see the numbers here, they are showing you. Uh, it's obviously kind of a comedy. Because how you know that those numbers are true? I mean, who in the world is reporting for you, European uh, organization, the number of their countries? You know, if you look here, if you look as uh, as uh, at the details, uh, too many dots in uh, China, but zero dot in India. But already we heard that in India there is an infection. They have zero dot in India. Uh, so obviously the numbers 
are not truthful, far away from the truth. And then, who is the one controlling the number? Chinese, they will never share what is really happening. This is a communist government, and they will try to contain the news so to prevent a collapse for economy and many other issues. Republic of Korea, 346. Japan, 105. Singapore, 86. Thailand, 35. I mean, how in the world a country like Thailand have only 35? Who is going to believe in this? You know, Thailand is a country where people come from around the earth to it, which means it is the swamp for virus. If you go right now to YouTube and check at the live, uh, live videos, you know, show you live videos from the beaches, from uh, streets, from etc., you will see the streets are going crazy. You know, hundreds of people are like nothing, there's nothing happening. This is the best place to spread viruses. And you are convincing me that it's only 35 people get infected. So what happened? I mean, this, this virus, he went only those 35 and he did not touch anyone. That cannot be true. All those numbers are false. Taiwan 26, Malaysia 22. Iran Islamic 18, it, it, they just announced in Iran that even the mayor of the city who was fighting the virus, he, you know, he, 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 he is infected. The head of the, the health is infected. Uh, uh, I mean, what, what, it, uh, what, what those numbers are about? The whole city is infected. It's a close city to the, to the capital of, of Tehran. The whole city is in chaos. And they are reporting for us here 18 people who they infected and only four people die. India, three. Who in the world want to believe India, three? Okay, hold on. Imarad, the small, tiny country. Small, tiny country. It's in the size of a street in India. Have 11 infection and India have a three. How this, how this has happened? You know what I mean? Those numbers cannot be true. India, you know, you know, uh, uh, India have employees everywhere in the world. This is one of the biggest population in the world, and the population mean a huge crowd, and a huge crowd is the best place for virus to spread. And you know it's not a secret that countries like, uh, uh, in, uh, like uh, you know, uh, let us say poor countries, uh, the hygiene is not good quality. Streets are not clean. Restaurants are not clean. Uh, 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 and and oh, when I say not clean, not clean, I mean it's not clean compared to other, right? So it is the best place for virus to spread. So I live in in a small, tiny like Emirat, and. Three in India, that is crazy to believe. Philippines, only three, why? How this is, can happen? I mean, Filipinos work all everywhere in the world. And Chinese come to Philippines like crazy. Only three people in the Philippines infected with the virus. So obviously, the government of those countries are trying to prevent the truth from being spreaded because that will cause a big, bigger issues security issues people will start buying food shelves will be empty uh, people will not go to work uh, uh, you know everything uh, things might collapse so all those numbers all, all all those numbers are false lebanon only one why i mean there is a 24 million lebanese abroad 4 million in the country imagine which means five times more than the population of the country abroad only one get infected. Me, who? Maybe this is the leader of uh, of uh, Nisa, <laughs> the vice president of Nisa. I mean, obviously those numbers are not true. Italy seventeen, Germany sixteen, France twelve, United Kingdom nine, Spain two, Russia two. Uh, you know, you see, there is there. Uh, it cannot. Those numbers cannot be true. 
how a country like Italy gets 17 infection and uh, you know Russia get two how that can be that doesn't make sense Russian you know these days they are flourishing with money so there is tourists Russian tourists everywhere anywhere in the world you go Russian they can get a visa for it you will find Russian there because they are making way better money than they before and they have better life way time way more than before so they have you know if you go to the beach in Thailand everybody is Russian the taxi actually taxi uh, when I was in Thailand the taxi he thought I'm Russian so he started talking to me Russian nobody learn uh, English there they are, they are learning Russian because number one customers for tourism and they live there actually they don't even just come to for a tourism they buy houses they live there so only two in Russia that's impossible in USA 35 I mean how in the world that can be true America is one of the biggest immigrant country in the world actually all of America is immigrant country everything about America is immigration how only 35 Canada 9 Australia 21 and Egypt 1 Africa all of Africa 1 guys in Africa all of Africa there's only one and we're in Egypt true story brother you know what I mean all of Africa and Africa is the poor poor continent where medicine is not good hospitals are not enough I mean people there they suffer already they have Ebola we saw what what happened with Ebola and now you are telling me in the whole of Africa there is only one and there is countries are not even listed I mean what is this And here, by the way, you notice there is something wrong in the, like as an example, when we go and see Iran, you know, Iran, it says 18. Hold on, let me see. Let me see the updated news. <clears throat> Give me a second. All right. Uh, I'm trying to find some news about Iran, but we want something fresh. Maybe last 24 hours, last, last hour, let's see. This is, the, you know, I mean, look, look at the news. Iran closes schools after fifth coronavirus death. Fifth coronavirus death. You must be kidding. So cities are shut down. Schools are closed because there's only five people died. That's not, that's not the number. That can't be true. That's mean things is getting horrible. You see, when you see schools are shut down, that means the city is shut down. Nobody go out. What what it, what does it mean? No school. That means don't go out. Don't mix with others. That means malls will be shutting down. Market will be shutting down. Nobody will go to work. All those numbers are fictions uh, 10 new cases of controversy Iran to dead official you see like the, the numbers is increasing like a, you know uh, in a dramatic way a Kuwait to evacuate 700 citizens from Iran hmm. and look at how smart they are they will if you evacuate 700 citizens bring them to Kuwait <laughs> 
I mean, it's super intelligence. So, <laughs> I mean, those governments are really very stupid. You bring people from infect, infected area just because you, they are your citizen? Uh, are you seeking death for your nation or what? What do you mean you want to bring them? The same as a Trump, he decided to bring the American citizen from the the the, uh, uh, the cruise ship in in Japan, and then which country allowed them to uh, to, to land their? Uh, I mean, imagine some countries how stupid they are just for the sake of money. Nobody is allowing this uh, cruise ship, which have hundreds of already infected. They are not like maybe. Uh, I, I forgot the name. It's a, it's a city. It's a, it's a it's a country in Asia. Um, they allowed them, and even Trump, he he sent a thank you message. I mean, how you allow those people to land in your land? You are crazy. It's very obvious that things is going going out of control. And all what they are saying to us in the news is far away from the truth. They don't know what they are doing. They have no idea what this virus is about. Look like they are just still in, in, the, in the stage of guessing. And the numbers cannot be true. Who in the world would believe that only 2,360 people die in China? Nobody believed that. You know, I remember when we're, we're speaking about uh, Chernobyl explosion. Chernobyl is a city in Russia, and uh, they have a nuclear facility have explosion in it. You can say like a nuke explode. Nobody knows what happened. Then the, the Soviet Union, they announced like 500, 600 people die. Many years later, they found that tens of thousands die and hundreds of thousands suffer from cancer. Always when you, when you have a, a communist, you know, what happened in the, behind the wall is different from what they say in their TV and their media. And now, you know, uh, uh, even if you control uh, traveling and you don't allow airplane to come from China, but the uh, virus is already everywhere. And secondly, a uh, virus not necessarily will travel with a human being, can't travel with anything. You are buying still product from China, buying food from China. Everybody in the world is buying from China, including medicine made in China. So obviously, this uh, this uh, coronavirus gave a huge lesson. We don't know if this lesson will, will end safely uh, with mankind. You never know what will happen. Uh, it might develop and, and be uh, something horrible where millions die. You never know. But in the best scenario, this virus prove that what they claim to be science, we have today, and they are so proud about it, it's a joke. They have nothing to do with science. Their science is a joke. You cannot trust what science say to you. They are fighting AIDS for the last 30 years and still they cannot fight AIDS. They make it go sleep, but nobody really can fight AIDS. And now little virus expose all their science to be a, a hocus. The world is not prepared for a very simple reason. We know we are so proud about ourselves. We are busy making nukes. Busy, we want to go to war in the space. You know, we want to control Mars. But they cannot control the virus. China, the proud country China. And you know, China is not a joke. China is not only huge, not only powerful, China is very rich. What happened to the billions and billions and billions of dollars? Everybody is borrowing money from China. 
but yet all the facility they have, they cannot fight a stupid virus. Where is the scientists of America and the scientists of the world? Where, where is everybody? Suddenly, it's like, it's gone. Uh, you know, and from time to time, they say to you, they publish in the news, that somebody, he found a vaccine, and then it turned to be, you know, false news, just to cool down people. If you remember once, I was, uh, I, I have a conversation with an atheist, and I was trying to convince him that your science is just a practice thing. It's not, it's not really science. It is something you practice, and if it succeeds, you call it science. Correct, and this is exactly what they are doing right now. They are they are practicing a, a chemical on this virus to see which chemical will work. But this is not science. This is just uh, let me try this with you. Like a Bedouin man in the desert, he says, "My dad, he told me that this is will work. Why? Because he tried and it worked." Nobody have vaccine. It's a lie. What will Bill Gates have vaccine? Nobody have vaccine. Uh, there is an option that somebody he developed this virus to destroy to kill. We don't know. It, it it's possible, and somehow they lost control of it. Spread out. Maybe somebody. Maybe in China they were working in a, a biology. Uh, but uh, as I know, the first time this coronavirus was appeared in, in Jeddah during the Hajj time in, in Mecca. But this virus have many names, you know, which means it's developed itself. It's like one family and this virus keep changing itself. It doesn't stay the way it is. And that what make it really dangerous. Because what it was five years ago is not the same today. Today they are giving it like a, they add numbers to it to recognize it from the other coronaviruses. Because this virus, as we say, it's it's one family, but it's all look like it's working in its uh, design to be stronger. Somebody saying you don't understand how science work. I am out, my friend. Get out, no problem. Don't worry to bring the the, the vaccine with you. No, we are the one who understand how science work. You don't have science, especially when it's come to medicine. What you have is a practice. You call it science. You know, who, who was the most famous scientist who discovered the, the medicine for the flu, the antibiotic? It was by, by mistake. That's not science. Yes, he's a scientist. But it wasn't really what you call science. I mean, it was happened by mistake. All the science, you know, you go right now, go open, go watch any commercial uh, uh, for medicine. You will find, okay, let us say you have this disease. And then uh, uh, the commercial will speak fast and they will say, remember that this uh, medicine can cause heart attack, bleeding, internal bleeding, and blah, 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 the stress, blah, 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 and can cause death in your, in your brain, blah, 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 blah. Look, so he's trying to help you in one field. And then you will find yourself, you will die from other side effect. So what is the science? So the guy have diabetes, and now you are trying to save his life from diabetes, but he will die by heart attack, eternal bleeding, blood pressure. So now what he would do? He will take another medicine to fight a heart attack. And then the other medicine which fight heart attack have side effect, will cause you a high pressure. So now we take a medicine for the high pressure. And then the one for high pressure have side effect will make you bleed from your nose. So now we take medicine from the bleed from the nose. So what is the what is the what is the science? Go open any medicine you have in your fridge, and they make it. You know they write the word in a very little tiny, which which means you cannot read it. You know and this is the purpose. Like, like, and look, the government do not even complain. I mean, how in the world we can read this? Like, do we have eyes of an eagle? Little tiny disclaimer. 
this brand can cause heart attack this you know, blah 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 let me search for give me give me a name give me a name for any disease let us search for a medicine and you will see right away i mean it is it is horrible what they call science your science my friend is a joke I remember once I lost my voice, you know. I told you this before. I don't. I, I don't go to doctors. I don't. I don't have even any. Like I. I hate doctors. I hate hospitals. But I cannot talk. You know. I want to go live on air. You know. This is how import, important for me. My voice is not coming out. So I went. They gave me medicine. Doesn't work. They give me the other one. I try this one. It doesn't work. Uh, they take blood samples. You have. You are nothing wrong with you. I mean, so. Uh, Nothing wrong with you, okay, nothing wrong with me, but my voice is not coming. And then I noticed, you see, this is me, Dr. CP, he noticed. Not, not, the, not the stupid doctors who ripped me off with the money because I don't have insurance. So I noticed when I drink coffee, like if I stop drinking coffee, my voice go, uh, go back to normal. So it looked like I have a bad, very bad allergy from the coffee because I'm drinking too much. That's all. All the visit to the doctors, not even single one of them, he asked me, like, what did you drink? What did you eat? Anything? No. They check my blood. They check my temperature. Open your mouth. Say, ah. You have nice teeth, by the way. Thank, thank you. But none of those idiots ask me, did you drink something? I mean, obviously, they are just practicing on you. They are learning about things. All what I did, I stopped drinking coffee for three, four days, and my voice came back wonderfully, and I can sing for you now. And now, if I drink too much coffee again, I'm drinking, but little. If I drink coffee, my voice will go. So, what is the science? Right? CP know nothing about Bible and science. The other one I know about Bible and science, my friend, because the Bible is not meant to be a book of science. And whoever want to uh, uh, make a connection between them is just uh, uh, being somehow far away from uh, being truthful. Why? Because uh, is it scientific that God, uh, uh, the one you believe in him, his name is the Messiah, is born of a virgin. This is not scientific. Uh, is it true that you can bring somebody from death by saying to him, come up? This is not science. So either you believe in miracles or you believe in what is called science. So those who want to mix between things, obviously they are, they are idiots. God is over his power over science because science is uh, about the possibility of doing things based in material. God is about possibility of doing everything without anyone. That is God. Yeah, Black Angel, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it might be, it might be they are working in a political uh, 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 weapon. Uh, to use it against enemy and it, uh, it happened to spread we don't know i mean what how this happened but obviously uh you know uh, what is called science is not really is not a solution for what will happen uh, they are trying now this is what they are what, doing they are trying vaccine and what is the vaccine it's a chemical so we keep changing the chemical until something work what is the science you see when you say science the way some people try to make us believe in it, that science, it's like one plus one plus one, as the Muslims they say, it's, it's going to be three, not one, right? So uh, here you have, you have the virus, you know what it is. You know the structure of it. You know what it's made from. But yet you do not know how to fight it. So you don't have science. 
because if you know the enemy how he's made where he's located what he do when he enter the body how he act and react yet you cannot fight it that's mean you don't have science you are just having a practice of let us try something a new medicine All right and this is what make uh, the future of a human being is very uh, fragile because you don't have anything to protect you. What if tomorrow this virus became way more strong? Because maybe the vaccine, even they are trying on this virus, will make it stronger. You see, because if you cannot kill it, that means this vaccine is getting trained to fight all your medicine. So they will make it stronger to the point it's going to be maybe impossible to fight the virus. But this is stuff you see there. What godless? Where is, you know, who, who's, who's godless these days? There is, there is believers, but they are not really big in numbers. The rest of the words is uh, out of control. Uh, anyway, you know, it's very disappointing to see what what's happening and how much they fabricate news in order to to uh, to cool down people. And, uh, you know, in Europe, they are acting as if nothing happened. Same as in America. Business is normal. Uh, and they think by, by putting a camera in the airport, when people, they arrive, they can control it. The, the virus is already inside every single country. And, you know, like, when the virus enter, as an example, Belgium, Belgium have only one case. Okay, how this virus enter Belgium? By itself, I mean, this virus, he took a ticket, he fly, he did not touch anyone in the way, he did not shake hands, he did not hold a stairs, he did not give a hug to a relative. Uh, uh, I mean, how this virus arrived to, to, to Belgium by itself? You know what I mean? Because when you say only one, it's like this virus, he fly all the way from China and he came down in the chimney of the house of this guy and he made only this guy infected. This guy before he learned that he is infected, which obviously they are saying now it can goes up to 27 days. How many people he associate with? How many mail letter he send by mail? Have his DNA and his tongue. This because many people they use their tongue, you know. To, to make uh, to 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 seal the letter right many people did do that that's why you have to be careful when you when you open a mail you receive a mail so how many how many bills he he paid online or he paid by by, by sending uh, uh, to the post office only one person in Belgium who is going to believe in this two in Spain two in Russia and 12 in France Yeah, I understand. This is what I said, the Black Angel. Maybe it's they make it as a weapon and it's spread. Maybe we don't know. I, we don't know really how it happened. But usually when they when they make a, a weapon, they develop a virus weapon. The the one who made the weapon, he make a, var, a vaccine for it because they want to protect themselves from it. You know what I mean? So like they can shoot it at the enemy and at the same time they have a solution so it can doesn't come back to them. This is what makes me believe that this is not really the case, that it is not because how, how they make the, the weapon, but they don't have the vaccine for it. But maybe they were thinking about, like, we make the weapon now and we work in the vaccine later and, you know, spread by somehow. Maybe, you never know. Uh, all those people who brought them from overseas, and they said we are going to put them in a camp for 14 days or in a hospital. It turned to be that 14 days is not enough. And now they discover that it can be seven, 27 days. 
And maybe tomorrow they will come to us and say it's, it can be 90 days, maybe six months. You never know. Hmm? Look, this is eight hours ago. News. Man infected with uh, coronavirus but did not show a symptom until 27 days later. And here you notice that they cannot discover the virus by checking you out. No, but by symptoms only. Only it's not like we check your blood and we find it. It's like it's like AIDS. You know, AIDS. If 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 they check your blood, they don't find something called AIDS. There is nothing called AIDS to find. They will find an anti illness in your body, which is obviously associated with the disease of the the, the, the virus. Which means when they check your blood, they don't find AIDS. There's nothing in school. They cannot find it. There's no laboratory really can find the AIDS as AIDS. What they find is the anti, the 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 the, the uh, uh, what your body pro, uh, like produced to fight the illness, the infection. By by having this production of the antivirus in your body, they will know that you have the virus there. Four in India, they are recovering. You see, this is the issue. Uh, this virus, obviously, it doesn't kill everybody. As we said, it's like about your immune system. But I would not be surprised if you are recovered and then you come back to, to get sick again. How you know that they recovered totally? You see, there is some kind of viruses and diseases, they come back. You don't recover really totally. It can come back. We don't know anything about this this uh, this uh, this virus yet. So when they say to you four people they recover, okay, all okay. What up? What happened to the rest? How in India? If you if you check the numbers here, if we go back in the numbers, let us see how many in India according to this number. Three. Look what you said to me. That. Four in India are recovering. Here they have they are saying they have three cases only. Obviously, the numbers are false. All those numbers are false. You know, especially in poor countries, people die. Nobody knows how. You know, like before, before in the Middle East, you know, old days, until now actually. If somebody died by heart attack, nobody knows how he died. They knew he died. Good. Nobody knows really how, how the person died. All what they know, they, they know he, he died. And this is the case in those poor countries. How many people can afford even to go and see a doctor? And if you want to see a doctor in India, how easy it is going to be? Small numbers of doctors, a huge population. All good doctors in India, they fly, you know, they hire them in, in either Middle East, they hire them in Germany, they hire them. So, you know, rich countries are sucking the blood of the, of the Indian people, taking the best of their educated people, hiring them, putting them in Europe, in America, in, in, in Saudi Arabia. And then the country, when you have an chaos like this, you don't have enough doctors. So when they speak about four cases in India, that's impossible. Yesterday I was I was watching this guy, his name Sad Guru, who say stupid stuff. You know, people like Guru. I mean he is the most funny idiot ever I, I, I listen to. But uh, the, the the reason I, I you know uh, 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 like uh, YouTube recommended uh, this uh, person for me because I watched his video before to see how what he is about. He have the I don't know like how big the space is, but I, I will not be exaggerating if I say maybe if maybe 80,000, 100,000 come in gathering to listen to this guy. This is the best place for coronavirus. I mean, how in the world the Indian government, they allow such a, con a convention to happen? More than 100,000, maybe more, I do not know. I mean, the camera even cannot reach the end.
how the government they allow such an event to happen and all this crowd gather together in India. Forget now about, about religion and what, what this fraud is about, you know. Like he was saying, you know, uh, uh, those gurus, they start to fool, like try, uh, they speak philosophy and they try to fool you. So he said yesterday, like it was my luck uh, he, when he started talking about donkeys. And this is the word I use always, you know. So he said, there is many donkeys there between you. And he's pointing his finger at the people. What, what the heck with this guy? He's talking about the fans. Those are his fan. Hard working donkeys. And he said, when you work hard, obviously you are doing something you don't like. That's stupid. That's not true. I work hard serving my Lord. I love it. The philosophy is a philosophy of a donkey pointing his finger at people calling them donkeys and saying that the one who work hard is a donkey because he is working hard in something he don't like. That is absolutely false. Working hard it's not because it's hard because I don't like it, but because I am giving extra effort to what I like to accomplish. And this is a guy supposedly they call him a guru. I wish I can get him any debate so we can we can make him shish kebab hummus. This is what I heard in, from him in two in two minutes. You know, I was watching the crowd how big it is. The crowd is so big. I mean, like an ocean of a human being. Since when, if people work hard, that means they are donkeys and they, they, they are doing something they don't like. And just because we use the word hard, that make it because it is something we don't like, that's absolutely false. The woman, the mother, she work hard to take care of her children. Is she don't like what she do? She love it. Is it hard to carry a baby for nine months? It's absolutely. Is it hard to give birth? Very hard. So what this guy is talking about? So they bring to you philosophy, a bunch of naive, uneducated people, and everybody's mouth is open like, wow, you know, like, wow, this is, that's deep. That's deep, brother. That's really deep. So the Muhammadan, they have infection with the, with the Islam cult. And in India, they have infection with those guru who's making business and bring dancers and etc. party. Anyway. Well, Western people, they support any idiot anyway. Just, uh, you know, like, did, did, did you watch the, the, the movie? It's called The Love Guru. The Love Guru. There's a scene where he is uh, uh, a bunch of Western in front of him in the, in the, in the big room. And he is a speech, making a speech for them. And that will tell you the whole story. Don't you see Western? They are uh, suddenly they are shaving their head and they became uh, uh, sp uh, spiritual. Western, in the West, everything is possible because they have emptiness in their life. They try to fill it with anything. When you have, when you have an empty space in your brain, your heart, everything is welcome. Anything. Uh, <clears throat> anyway. The way I see that this coronavirus is going to hit, I think as long as there is no vaccine and they are just playing games, I think the news is going to be horrible and the number of people get infected will be horrible. And the only thing can save you is you having a good immune system. Uh, and I advise people to stay away from big uh, group meeting, you know, uh, especially these days, you don't know where people are coming from. You know, like travel is not, unless you are living in a village where nobody go, nobody come, then who cares? You are safe. You know. But the problem these days is that the, the world became very small, like a village, flying non-stop between countries around the world, and there's nobody can control that. Even if now they stop flying between all countries in the world, the virus is already out, out of its space. And you know, the funny, that's uh, uh, how come nobody noticed that the Chinese is infected with this virus from the beginning? 
why government in the West and the East they did not take care of this issue to prevent that virus from coming to their own. Why you wait until it became a huge number? This is how bad your government are. They don't care. We have coronavirus and now Trump is, is, is making election speeches in a crowd. You should not do that. They should suspend all kind of activities for bigger groups to me, including even churches. But what you can say, what you can say. In Japan, only one, uh, one death in Japan, only one person died. Okay, well, you know what? If you look at the numbers here, if this virus don't kill, so what the problem? I mean, look, 346 people, they are infected. Only two people die. So that we, should, we should relax then, if this is the true number. You know what I mean? It's like, the, it's like saying to me, we shot 346 people, and only two of them, they die. That is a nice bullet. Those bullets made from plastic, maybe. How in the world this number can be true? Because if this is true, it's me. We do not need a vaccine. It's me. We are fine. Singapore, 86 people, they are infected, zero death. So what the problem? What is the problem exactly? Maybe this is like in a kind of a flu. Maybe you will have, you will see Hachi, Hachi, and that's it. Hachu, and okay, we are done. So that's it. Eighty-six people infected, zero death. That means this virus is nice, very friendly virus. Maybe you should grow them at home. Who in the world want to believe those numbers? Look at those numbers. I mean, this is this is crazy. Sixty-one people in Europe they get infected. Only one person die. Sound like the Quran number. Do you got flu? No, I don't have a flu. But everybody can get a flu. I mean, what is flu is a like what? I am not a human like the rest. You are a human. You are vulnerable for illness and diseases and etc. What happened to people can happen to you. And if you are today strong and healthy, maybe tomorrow you are not. You know, usually you get sick when you're, uh, you're uh, there's a weakness in your health and you get sick. That's very normal to happen. Uh, but the flu is always exist, but not necessarily you will catch it because if your body is strong, the flu will not have any, you know, every, like if, if you check your mouth right now, there's millions of viruses in your mouth and germs but they don't do any effect to you because you are healthy which means they are there with you they live with you they are in your mouth but still you are fine but when you are weak then things can collapse CP, didn't you say yourself weeks ago it was all a crazy coronavirus? I'm not sure what do you mean. Um, I don't know what you mean. Make a sentence so I can understand. Two weeks ago I was talking about uh, that they should not allow people to come to USA from those ships uh, because you are inviting people to spread the virus. And if you isolate them in a place in USA, still you do not prevent the virus from coming. Uh, 
and then some people don't agree with me. And now we found that the virus can uh, uh, show no symptoms for more than 27 days, as you see in the news. They just discovered that today. So they were putting people for 20, 14 days after they come in the airport, if they feel that they might be infected, 14 days. And now they found out that it is 27 days and maybe more. So now, uh, those those people who you brought them here and you put them for 14 days in an isolated area and then you let them go home, how many of them they might be sick? Because as you see, 27 days pass and this person have no symptom. No, you can't stop the plane because even if you stop our line from flying, you see the virus will travel. There's many ways for the virus to come to you. Already it's in your country anyway. It's spread all over the world. So it's too late. Secondly, you know, China is a country everybody buy from China. Look around you right now in your table. How many things is made in China? Everything you have around you is made in China. So you know, some countries almost they have like 100% of their product is Chinese product, including their medicine, their food. If you are a person who live uh, in Asia, you will find a lot of food product are coming from the from the Chinese uh, manufacturer. Because, you know, ch Chinese food, first of all, Chinese, they have a lot of population in other countries. So, uh, there's a, China, a lot of Chinese in Singapore, Ma Malaysia, in uh, Indonesia, uh, in India, in the Philippines. I mean, there is Chinese everywhere. So, and because there is Chinese everywhere, there is, their, their food will be imported, exp you know, exported to everywhere. So, the Chinese who live there, they will import food, and this food can be infected with viruses. You never know. Yeah, but it's not in China anymore now. The, it's the virus is all over the place. What in China? Don't you see how many in Europe? How many, etc. And those are numbers. They discover how many people they get sick and they die. Like you know, I just saw in the news a guy in New York. I think it was in New York. He called. Uh, he called nine one one, and they said he have a flu, not not coronavirus. He is a Chinese. He is a Chinese, but he did not go to China for more than a year. He did not go to China for more than a year. So it cannot be he brought a virus with him since a year ago. So he called 911, but he is using a phone uh, line which is issued to him from China, which allowed him to make local call for free. And because of that, they could not find his address and the guy he died. But this is telling you how much cases we don't know about. You know, maybe this is a coronavirus too. He ate somewhere. He's a Chinese. He, he ate to, to uh, he went to a Chinese restaurant. Uh, they import food from China. You never know. Or somebody in the restaurant there. So they are saying it is a flu. Maybe to cool down the people so people will not go panic. So we don't know, we can't trust those numbers. We can't trust anything they say. And actually, if you ask me about uh, traveling, I say to you, the best time now is, the best time to travel is now. <laughs> actually, I was invited uh, by by a good person uh, uh, to go, uh, you know, like an Asian country. Uh, and uh, And that person said, maybe it's not good now to come because of the virus. I said, no, this is the best time to come because everybody leave. You know, if you are a person, you will not go to nightclubs. You will not go to stupid places. If you are a person, will enjoy the beach with no, where is nobody. I mean, you are, you are safe. If you are a person who's going to nightclubs and you expect yourself to be secure and safe, that's a different story. For me, if I go to a place uh, for, let us say, for uh, a vacation, I go where it's nice beach, beautiful area, uh, quiet, nobody there. N I don't go to nightclubs and crazy stuff. 
this is where you get sick even if there's nothing you will get sick if you do not get sick you will get shot maybe right a mask will not what mask? mask will not stop the virus that's not true you know you see the virus happened by 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 touch not by breathing it's not like the same as a sneezing uh, so it is it is you touch somebody and then you put your hand in your mouth you eat with it or etc and this is how this virus obviously move between people it's by touching kissing touching you know physical physical uh, uh, action Yeah, for me, actually, uh, I was looking actually for a ticket to go, you know, to be honest with you, because now the price is perfect. Price is perfect. Uh, hotels are empty. So you will not be infected with anything because nobody there. <laughs> Literally, nobody there. You will be the only one in the beach. The only crazy Arab in the beach. How fun. What do you want more? You know what I mean? So for me, I don't mind really to go, and I don't feel anything really. I die, I die. Who cares? I don't have a children. I don't have a wife. I don't care. You know, for me, you see, I'm I feel free because I don't have. The only thing make me afraid of death is having somebody I love. I don't want to hurt because of my death, like having children or a wife. I don't have any of that, so I don't care. I die today. I die tomorrow. Who cares? Right, bye bye. <laughs> Uh, okay, right, right. You, you can call if you want. No problem. Well, I don't know, Bond. They are saying things. Everybody is giving us different numbers and different uh, information. Look like they are learning about this virus, and nobody knows. You know, nobody knows. Let us see what train he wanna call us. <coughs> My parents, they may, you never know, they might get happy if I, if I die. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> when you're attached to life, you know, uh, death follow you. If you don't care for it, you live. Don't forget to mute your uh, uh, YouTube array, uh, please. Okay, we called you. You are not answering, my friend. You see, actually, when you are scared of death, death chase you. This is my experience with death. I went through a lot of stuff, crazy stuff. People who hide from it, they die, and I am the one who did not. I am alive. No. Let us see. Hello? Hello? Yes, Ray. Go ahead. You're live on here, my friend. Assalamu alaikum. Um, basically, I just remembered, because um, I, I used to watch this uh, YouTube channel. Um, it's called Emmanuel TV. So um, what happened was that one of the prophecy was about um, his, his name by Prophet TB Joshua uh, from Nigeria. It's called the Church of uh, All Nations Synagogue uh, Church. So anyway, basically, I was told that one of the prophecies that there's going to be some, some some sort of like, um, uh, if I can remember, some medicine developed, and it's going to cause something like um, I don't know, some cause people to suicide and uh, something like that. I don't know. Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Uh, so yeah, that's basically, I was thinking, it could be, do you do you want the link to that? No, no, my friend, I don't go by those conspiracy stuff, because people, they say things, it doesn't matter really what they say. And it okay. doesn't matter if it's a TV of somebody. The second you say to me, there's a prophet in this TV, that's mean this TV is not really a, a TV for me. Oh, okay, um... I don't believe in those. I don't. I don't believe in those prophets. You know, we have enough false prophets. His name is Muhammad. We don't need more. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right, my friend. That's all. No problem. Yeah. Sorry about that, everyone. No problem. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I don't believe in those uh, prophets. You know, anyone he put a hat in the top of his head in Africa and he says to you, "I'm a prophet." So just it's a, it's a ninety nine point nine percent is a fraud. You know. Let me prophesy for you. There is a virus. It's going to be called Corona. A Christian prince, but already we knew about it. It doesn't matter. But this is different Corona. This is the this is a new Corona. This is the sister of the other Corona. Okay, it's coming. Just wait. Yeah, I mean uh, it's a business. I mean you see, just uh, just go and uh, uh, always you will find a bunch of fool who believe in you. It doesn't matter how how stupid you are. Trust me. If you announce yourself as a prophet now, I guarantee you, you will find people who believe in you. I guarantee you. I remember once uh, in Paltok, Paltok is a chat program. There was a woman, she claimed to be a prophet. I forgot the name of her uh, her uh, religion. They have a name and they have a temple, very nice building, you know, it's expensive too. And she have a big chat room in, in Paltok and people and, you know, the second you enter the chat, if your name is a Christian, she'll start attacking you. She hates Christianity. I entered the chat room and she was talking about how God he came to her yesterday. Okay. Now, she said that she was in her room and then God he land in the front of her window with a boat. Boat. And he asked her to jump in the boat with him. But then she remembered that she is not wearing underwear. What? What? <laughs> And I'm like, okay, so I could not hold, because I know she will bounce me out of the room, you know, you, you can get you out. I'm waiting for her to say something so I can I can, I can get her busted. So the second she said that, I said, so uh, uh, I, I'm trying to remember like, so your God, he will not, he, he uh, like there is like there's requirement for you to wear panty when you see God or something. So she bounced me right away. I mean, look at this. How in the world a human being can believe that this woman is a prophet? That her God, inviting her to the boat, he land in the front, this is like Al-Burak, Muhammad, he have a donkey. And she wanted to go in the boat. And suddenly she remembered that she is not wearing panty. I wish I can't have a microphone, have a conversation with her, but she will never allow you because she will be exposed, you know. But you should see the, the, the people in the text. May God bless you. Wow, beautiful. Tell us more, uh, prophet, prophet, that's sister. Tell us more, prophet. You know? And they were posting a link for their temple, and their temple have like a sign, like sun, whatever. It's uh, it, and a very expensive building. So, you, you know, prophets. You know, prophets. Great business. Many food. Anyone. You know, he want to make money these days. He claimed to be a prophet, the same as before. Nothing changed in the time of Muhammad. You see, uh, cult leaders, all of them, they share one thing. Uh, they want your money and they want to sleep with your women. All of them, they want the same thing. If you go and check the, 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 the Messiah, he never took a penny from anyone. He never take wages, even though he do amazing miracles, same as his disciples. And even the Messiah, he encouraged him. He says, if you can serve God without getting married, even that is better. So he took even he took from them that that uh, 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 option of having women in their life. So two things is gone, which is making you a cult leader. Money and women. All of them, they want the same thing. There's a, there's a cult leader. Uh, he is supposed to have a church. He, they call, his, his last name is Dollar, imagine. I mean, he fit perfectly with his, uh, his agenda. So he told them, I saw a dream that God told me I need to buy an airplane. I mean, what is that? He need to buy an airplane for himself. And all those people in this church, they want to, yes, 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 we should buy you an airplane. I mean, it's like brainwashed people, you know. I mean, 
Why he need an airplane? This guy, what he want to do exactly? Why somebody he claimed to be a preacher, he want to have an airplane for himself? Cost? Do you know how much cost for maintenance, for tax, for landing, for flying, for gas, and, and, the, and the price, hundreds of millions of dollars? You want to buy him an airplane? What about donating this money for the poor who are dying, sleeping under, 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 under uh, the bridge? Right? So there's many people who they are, liars. And this is why the Messiah, he said, from their fruit, you shall know them. If their fruit is about money, etc. This is why, like, if, you see, everything around you we see here is about money. Even it's about virus. Like, why there is many organizations now they are searching for the vaccine? Not because they love a human being and they are doing charity, but they are competing now, trying to find the vaccine so they can make a big sale. The motivation is not a hum human. The motivation is even to fight diseases is evil. It's not you. It's not to save you. It's your money. All those organizations who they are working hard, companies, big, big, big uh, uh, company for drugs, they don't care if you die. They care for sale. So for them, such a virus actually is an opportunity. You see, always when there is an epidemic and diseases, the stock market for such companies go skyrocketing. Which might be to think that maybe even this disease or this virus made by one of those companies. You never know. If nobody gets sick, nobody get buy the medicine, right? As simple as that. If nobody die, nobody buy the the the, the casket for the uh, uh, for the funeral. You see, everything need, there is requirement for it. If nobody get married, uh, then no, you know, I mean, nobody wanna go and uh, do service for marriage and wedding and party and etc. So uh, uh, this is all is a business connected. So I will not be surprised if one of those companies, they made viruses, or maybe all of them, they do the same, so they can sell and make a lot of money. Right? <clears throat> all those who call themselves prophets, even this is not our topic, but all those who call themselves prophets these days, they are, they are a bunch of fool, liars, and they are fooling the fool. Don't be victim of them. Go and see. Look how they dress. You see, somebody he claimed to be a prophet, he is wearing the most expensive clothing, uh, the most expensive houses. Obviously, they are a fraud. Especially, he is using that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, he did not say to you, go and buy a palace. Jesus himself, he did not even own a donkey. So how in the name of Jesus, you earn all this money, and yet you claim that you are following Jesus, and you claim to be a prophet. You're not just a Christian. I mean, okay, there's a Christian who have a lot of money. He don't want to spend it. Okay, but he's making donation, whatever, trying his best. But you claim to be a prophet, and you are, all the money you are making is from this business. This is business now. This is not God no more. So those are liars, and those who believe in them, they are a bunch of fools. Obviously. You see a guy, he have a life, like a hairstyle, nice suit, expensive. I mean, uh, five stars hotel when he come to make a speech. It's a fraud. It's a fraud, my friend. Real preachers, they stand in the street in the top of a rock. As simple as that. He don't wear expensive clothes. He don't need five stars hotels. He live like you and he die like you. Those are real. I remember once there was there was a, a, a Christian minister. I used to make fun of him when I was a kid actually. Because he come to our house. He have a whole... Uh, his his toes is coming out of from his uh, you know you know in the Middle East you know uh, 
especially in winter we don't allow anyone to enter the house wearing his shoes so they build in the season so sometimes he come like in the winter time his his toes is coming out from the socks his socks have tons of holes uh, his jeans it's like horrible you know he have a bicycle which is from from the cave time century rusty and when when he drive it it make noise like you know like it's like screaming to the point when he leave it outside nobody steal it and then one day we discovered that this guy and he is a european missionary by the way uh, his family they pass away his family they pass away and they left him millions of dollars when I used to make fun of him, I was a kid, you know, I mean, I, I, I don't know, like, I'm just a kid. Why your toes is coming out? Like, why you don't buy uh, socks? Why you don't have uh, good shoes? Why you have a hole in your shoes? You know, so and later we, I, you know, found out that this guy is a millionaire. He's a millionaire, literally. He go in the bicycle, in the cold, in the heat. He don't take a taxi like everybody. Just to preach the gospel, he come to our house, he opened the Bible, he read, with, you know, amazing person. So when he died, even all the money he got, he spent it to build the churches in poor areas. All the money he had. That is a, that is a person to listen to. Not those who claim to be prophets and, you know, those are like Corona. There's no difference between this Corona and this Corona. They are Corona. They are viruses. Those false prophets are like virus, you know. They kill you in a different way. All of them, they bring death. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to share this topic here with you. And let us see what will happen with this corona crazy stuff. Uh, it doesn't sound good. The news doesn't sound like uh, uh, positive. Uh, you know, just be be sure you, you take care of yourself. Uh, boil your food. You know, be, be careful when you eat. It's better to boil it. You know, like cooked food. Uh, uh, ste steamed fish. Be, you know, have to be careful. You have to be careful, extra careful. Don't go out in the street and shake hands with people and then, you know, put your finger in your mouth eating something. Grab something and put it in your mouth. Don't do that. Wash your hands always when you come home. Uh, you go to the mall, you die, do shopping, wash your hands again. N never let your hand go into your mouth without washing your hands. You have to be extra careful. Bad time need, you know, certain measure to be safe and secure. And, uh, you know, we pray that, you know, this, this uh, madness will over. Otherwise, things can go out of control. And as you see, the numbers they are showing us is stupid. It doesn't make sense. Like who in the world when I believe that there's only one coronavirus is in Africa, only one in Egypt. Who, who's going to believe in this? It's impossible. So, especially in Africa, it's a hot area. I mean, virus, they, 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 they enjoy it. It's perfect for, for the spread. So anyway, I want to say thank you again for being here. Again, you don't have to agree with me. Uh, this is my personal opinion about what's happening. It might be true. It might be wrong. But what I see is really uh, very bad. And obviously, they don't know what they are doing. And this virus is exposing all their uh, uh, ability government ability they are not prepared for anything if little tiny virus did this what what if a what if a third war happened what if a third war happened tiny virus all countries now in the world they have biology uh, weapon so imagine guys what will happen if a war erupt this is not war now this is countries around the world they are trying to help each other supposedly and they cannot do anything so if what if somebody evil he des decide to do something evil with those things you can imagine what kind of, so this is a great example for us as a, for me as a believer that life is not something you can take for granted don't think today you are healthy that's mean you will live you never know the most priceless thing you have your life can be taken from you any second any moment 
We cannot trust any promises from anyone about tomorrow because nobody knows what tomorrow will be. Government, they are nothing but garbage, stupid. They just put rules and their rules is funny. Actually, their rules can be a, a reason actually to spread viruses and, and diseases. Like, you know, they are containing people in the airport. Uh, people who they are coming from a place, if they are suspected, they put them in a place all together. I mean, are you stupid or what? So let us say one of them was infected. Now you infected the 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, 200. Stupidity. So we cannot trust government to solve a problem. Either this virus will go and disappear by itself, die slowly, God knows, or God help us for what's coming. Because obviously they have no idea what they are doing. I want to say thank you guys. May the Lord bless you. And I will try to go live on air tomorrow, tonight again uh, in this account. Because remember, in Saturday, Sunday, and Friday, we go in the quality of life. Don't forget to subscribe if you care to join us. And we will see what the coming topic will be. And then starting from Monday, we go back to the Arabian Prophet, where we debate the topic. It's called Islam. And we got it busted. Thank you. And may the Lord bless you all. And keep you safe. Take care. Bye-bye.